guess what I just realized? I've never shot a goddamn whiskey commercial before. Mm. In this video, I'm gonna take you to behind the scenes of my whiskey commercial and show how you can make money with your camera by simply shooting a video and then selling it once it's done. Also, make sure to watch this video till the end so you won't miss out on my $500 commercial competition. Distilled from peated malt and matured in selected bourbon and sherry casks. Well-balanced single malt whiskey. Savu by Teren Peli. And how's it going y'all? It is awesome to see you tune back in. So today we are attempting to make money with our cameras. And the plan is to shoot a spec ad, in this case a whiskey commercial, and through that possibly, possibly land with a new client. By just picking a brand, creating a video, and then trying to sell it to that brand once it's done. Last time I did this, I filmed a hot sauce commercial and then managed to sell it forward. The company has now been my client for a little bit over a year and that one spec ad I shot in my living room has earned me several projects with them. And as I always want to improve my resume, I thought, hey, I've never shot a whiskey commercial before. So let's see if we still got it and if we can do it again. Oh. Jack Daniels, Jimmy Bean, Fireball. There's like a gazillion different whiskey brands to choose from, but I narrowed down the list. I narrowed down the list, I did uh, three different ones. I feel like me going after like, let's say Jimmy Bean or Johnny Walker or you know, the big names. I feel like once I'm done with the film, I don't feel like they'd probably notice me that well. Where I'll do a video that's about a finished whiskey brand and I know they're not as big as Johnny Walker. I know that they're gonna notice me better and I also then have better chance to selling this film to them. I'm not saying you shouldn't aim high and try and land with these big brands, but if you're just starting out and you're building that resume and you're hoping to sell your work to someone, the chances are you landing with a client like Jack Daniels or Coca-Cola is very, very minimal. Whereas smaller brands can be more appreciative towards any content, any extra content that might be heading in their way. So why not choose to shoot your spec ad with their products instead? Oh boy, got my cup of joe and ready to try for an hour and 30 minutes. Basically trying to find this barrel, this like really legit sherry whiskey barrel it was harder than I imagined. But uh, thank God we finally found one. Got it for free as well. These suckers go for like a thousand bucks. We found a person who's kind enough to borrow us one for a few days and that is good for us. So we're gonna go and pick that up right now. After picking the brand, I started planning my shoot. Studying the company behind the whiskey. What kind of barrels they use? What about the whiskey classes? What kind of videos and photos have they been producing before? The bottle is called Savu, which is smoke in English. So what if I use a smoke machine? At this stage, you gotta remember, though it is just a fun shoot and you're shooting for yourself and no one has paid anything for you to do it, you still wanna make it the best you can. Because in the end of the day, it is your work and this work represents you, who you are as a filmmaker and what you're capable of. And so you wanna give it your all. Planning is everything. So now after I have the brand in mind, the brand I want to make this video off. I um, write down all my ideas. I write the deco I want the film to have. I write down the mood board, the shot list. Study the brand, like what type of photos and films they've done before. Storyboard everything, which actually then takes us to this video sponsor that is Melanote. Whenever I'm about to film a new project, I always turn to Milanote. It is a free form digital canvas where I can gather all my inspiration and ideas in one place. Everything from mood boards, shot lists, storyboards, and how I plan my set design. Milanote helps me to stay focused and organized. I use Milanote extensively on my projects and it helps me to stay on track while going through the different stages of my productions. Everything from the initial writing process to the final day of editing and sharing the films with my clients. Milanote is something that I can highly recommend. Give Milanote a try on your next filmmaking project. Sign up for free using the link in the description box below. 
And now let's get back to this video. There we go. Definitely a great addition to the studio as well, I just realized. How cool would this kind of tabletop be? You know, you finish a project and then you just have a glass of whiskey next to your whiskey barrel. So, we got the barrel in the studio and now we are just gonna start setting up lights and the setup for this entire video. With this shoot, I wanted to focus on simple and clean beauty shots of the product. So we're gonna start this entire shoot with the first opening shot and then the last hero beauty shot. And that is because we only got one bottle that we're shooting. So before we do open the bottle and pour the whiskey out of the bottle, I wanna take all the shots that I need where the bottle needs to stay unharmed. And that is why we are starting with these shots. Likewise, we are rocking the Aperture 300 Mark II. We're gonna light the bottle nicely with this complementing top light coming from above. And then obviously we're gonna backlight the bottle. So the color of the whiskey is gonna pop out in our shots. Then we are using Rhino slider to take all these buttery smooth shots. No handheld footage today. Everything is smooth all the way. Smooth sailing, smooth sailing guys. Right Lenny? <laughs> Film details of the product rotating on Lazy Susan, doing push-ins and pull-outs with the slider, finding interesting new ways to reveal the product shot after shot. Everything what is happening in the frame will happen on top of that whiskey barrel in front of a black backdrop. that smoke machine really gave the film the much wanted message and structure from the beginning to the end. It really linked to our product and was the visual force and energy in our otherwise static environment. Okay, so this shot here is gonna be part of the opening shot. Pull in with the slider, 100 mil macro, as we get closer to this class, my brother is gonna blow into the class and the smoke will then obviously vaporize away and just fly off the class, revealing the logo, Dead and Belly, which is the whiskey brand. And after that, we're gonna cut into a droplet, breaking everything, action starts. Focusing on high quality, well-lit shots that display this brand's product the nicest possible way was the main focus. And that's a wrap for this spec whiskey shoot. Now off to the edit table and see if we can sell this spec ad to the brand Dead and Belly. Oof. Mm. I feel like this last minute voiceover that we did was just a perfect icing on the cake. The edit is now looking good. Um, we put together down to 20 seconds. It's a good link for our whiskey commercial. And now I feel like there should be a voiceover, just a short voiceover that tells us a little bit about the whiskey. And for that, we have Franz in the studio helping us. He's, yeah, with a deep and broken voice. He's, he's already in character with the whiskey class. And we got a setup over here and a short script that we got off of the brands, the whiskey brands website that tells everything there is to know about this very specific smoke sabu whiskey. Distilled from peated malt and matured in selected bourbon and sherry casks. Well-balanced single malt whiskey. Sabu by Teren Peli. And so, with the film done, there was only one thing that I was still left to do. Try sell that film. I'm gonna send this directly to the owner. I'm gonna send that via email. And in that email, I'm also gonna ask him if he's interested to give me a call back and then hopefully we can close everything and see if he likes it and wants to buy it. Fingers crossed. You wanna add everything there is to know about this video, about that project that you're doing, 
and yourself to that email. The message should cover obviously the price, the rights of the film, who you are, and why did you create this film in the first place? Also, just to be clear, like I, I wasn't trying to get rich here by all means, nor to ask my average rate, but to sell it not cheap, but somewhere in the middle. Sure, the goal is to sell the film and make some money while doing it, but mainly to open a new possible window with a new client. Sort of like what I did with my hot sauce commercial. It is not a sprint, but a marathon. Always play the long game. Here's the call, guys. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, hello, Joey. Oh, kiitos. Joo, no kiva kuulla tykkää täällä. Yes. Yes, kiitos Anssi. Moro, moro. Woo! Come on! We did it again, baby! We did it again! Oh my god! Feels so goddamn good. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, that, that feels good. They said yes, they want to buy the film and um, wow, this is, it's amazing that you can do this too, create opportunities for yourself. This is, this is the best feeling ever. Like you get this rush and I got to do a video that I wanted to do. They liked it, they bought it. They want to do more work with me in the future. And uh, yeah, guys, if you're not shooting specs, you oughta, you should. Live an example, come on, go and shoot specs. And talking about shooting specs. Okie dokie, and now it is time to talk about the competition. So I set aside $500 from this commercial that I just sold to put together a competition with you all. And the rules are very, very, very simple. Create a whiskey commercial length between 15 and 40 seconds. Post it on IG and tag me to that post with hashtag Joey's Whiskey Competition. That is it. You got two weeks to execute your commercial. The deadline is September 22nd. After that, I'll be going through all your work in a review video where I'll be choosing my favorite whiskey commercial that will win $500. So now it's your time to pick up your camera and start creating. And that is it for this video. Make sure to subscribe so you're not gonna miss out on the review upload. Stoked to see what you guys come up with now. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the video. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys again on the next one. Distilled from peated malt and matured in selected bourbon and sherry casks. Well balanced single malt whiskey. Sabu by Terenpeli.